Hello, it's Mr Neil here. In this video, I'm going to work with you to go through the Galga tutorial in Microsoft Make Code Arcade. Now, Galga is a game where we will create a space plane that can fly through space and shoot down our bogey or enemy spacecraft. Now, the version of the game that I'm going to make won't be exactly like the one that you see on the screen, and neither does your version have to be exactly the same. In fact, if you don't want it to be about space, it can be about something else. So if we're ready, we're going to click on OK. So the first thing we need to do is from the sprites category, grab a set sprite to sprite of kind player. So sprites, set sprite of kind player. We'll get click on the my sprite and we're going to rename it and we're going to rename it space plane if your theme of your game is something different you can set something there appropriate we're now going to click on the grey box and we get our editor or gallery so it's up to you whether you go through the gallery and find an appropriate image or you create one in the editor so I'm very quickly going to create my space plane. Now, whenever you are creating your sprites, you want them to take up as much of the space on the tile as possible. So there's my space plane. And when we load up the emulator, we can see our space plane is there. The next step we're going to do is get our space plane moving. So we're going to go into controller and we're going to take the move my sprite with buttons. Our sprite is not called my sprite, so we get an error occurring, which means we need to click on the drop down here and change it to space plane. And we're also going to click on the plus button and we're going to increase the VX and the v VY to 200. And that means our space plane will move faster. Now, when we play our game, our space plane can go up, down, back and forward. But at the moment, what will happen to our space plane is that if we go too far forward, backwards, up or down, it will vanish off the screen. So the next bit of code comes from the sprites. And we are after a set my sprite stay in screen. So we put that in and we're going to change the name of the sprite to space plane. This means now that my plane cannot leave the screen. We are going to get some lives in our game. So we're going to go into info and we're going to take a set life to three and drag it out. For protection, we need to press a button to launch projectiles at an oncoming enemy. And to do this, we are going to use an A button pressed. So we're going to controller and we're going to take an on button A pressed. We're then going to go into sprite and we're going to take out a set projectile to block and snap it in to our on button A pressed. And we're going to change the my sprite as we have done before to space plane. And we're going to change the VX to 200 because we want it to move forward. And we're going to change the VY to B0 because we don't want it to go up or down. We're then going to click on our grey box and draw in our projectile that we are going to throw. And once we're finished, we can click on done. Now, every so often, a bogey or an enemy ship come flying at us. So we're going to do that on a set time. So we're going to turn to game and we're going to pull up an on game update but we get change that from 50 milliseconds to a thousand milliseconds or or one second and we're then going to go into sprites and we're coming up for a set my sprite of kind player but it's not a player it is a bogey or an enemy ship so we're going to select enemy and we're going to rename this object to bogey or enemy and then we'll get click on our grey box and we are going to uh, create our, our bogeys are going to be coming from right to the left so we want it facing that way so I'm just going to do this as a very quick triangle so there is my bogey click next 
So we're going to bring in a set my sprite velocity to VX, VY. Okay, drag that in. And you'll notice that it already says bogey, but if it doesn't, we can change that by clicking on the drop down. Now, because we want it to move, as I said, from right to left, we are going to have minus 100 and a VY of 0. And let's see what that looks like. So we can see here that every second we get a spaceship. At the moment, it's spawning in the middle of the screen, but it's moving um, rightwards. And now we'll get the question, how can we win if the bogey spawns right on top of you? So we need to move the position too. We're going to bring out a my sprite position too, making sure that it's bogey. And we're going to set the x value to 160. And the reason we're setting the x value to 160 is that is because it is the rightmost edge of the screen. So now what happens is our bogeys will come flying at us, but they always spawn in the top right corner of the game because we have set the Y coordinate to zero. So the next part of this instruction is using the pick random. So we're going to go into math and we're going to bring out a pick random and we're going to set can spawn between Y axes of five and 115. So now when I um, run my game, we get different locations. And if I press the A button or the space, I can shoot. However, as of yet, nothing happens when I make contact with the enemy bogies. Before we do that, we need to make sure that if our enemy bogies disappear from the screen. So to do that, we're going to go into sprites. We're going to bring in auto destroy. In, and we're going to set it to on and that just means visually to us is that the player nothing happens but there's code just in the background that means that the, the, the game's no longer tracking bogeys that are no longer on the screen. Let's get on to our dart actually destroying the enemy. So we're going into sprites and we're looking for on sprite of kind player overlaps other sprite of kind player. We're changing this first kind to be projectile, because that's what we have here, a projectile. And the overlap to of kind enemy, because that is our enemy here. We want to take a destroy my sprite. And what is it that we want to destroy? Well, it is the other sprite that we want to destroy. And we can get rid of this wee bit here. And if we want any special effects, we can pick them in there. So let's go for the fire effect. So now, when I shoot, we see it destroys and we get a line of fire after it. Now that effect was quite slow. So let's see if we can make it even faster. So now when I shoot the ships, they kind of burn up. Excellent. Okay, click next. We should get one point for every bogey we hit. So we're going into info. We're going to change the score by one. And we're going to bring it into our on sprite overlaps. And what if the bogey hits us? Okay, we need some code that tells the program what to do if the bogey overlaps the player. So we're going into sprites. And we're going into on kind of sprites uh, player overlaps other kind of player and we are going to change the other to be enemy so if the player collides with the enemy or overlaps with the enemy what do we want to happen well firstly we probably want the enemy to destroy itself so we're going to go into sprites destroy and then we're going to drag in the other sprite and we can get rid of that and to just show there's been some sort of uh, collision, um, let's go into scene and take a camera shake. And ultimately, we're also going to change the lives by minus one. And let's see what that now looks like. 
So I'm going to shoot that ship. I get a point. I've been hit. I've been hit. I've been hit. Three hits. And I die. Click next. And congratulations. That is us finished our Galga game. So let's have a wee look at what we've got working. We've got our main character moving left and right. Shooting when we press the A. We get points when we hit the enemy bogies. And we lose lives when the enemy bogies hit us. So hopefully you have got a working game similar to this, my version of Galgar.